So we're here at Target. It's Thursday because we're bored. And I'm gonna see if I can find some Halloween special effects stuff. Just because. Right, babe? I guess so. And he needs to get stuff for the house. So. Here we go again. I'm just here looking at everything I totally forgot to record. I just realized that right now. <laughs> so, this is what we're seeing. Ooh. Uh, for the window it's like all the day of the dead stuff so like beautiful i'm not usually into colors but i'm really digging this where did you find this oh uh, just, just there i'm like still debating on this one over here five nights at freddy's eyes Everything is like so cool. I just want to take one of everything and put it in my bag. <laughs> yes, anything that's Halloween, I sure would buy everything in this store. I thought this was cool. I got one. It opens, puts storage in it. I thought this was pretty too for the door. That candle holder. Are you, oh, she looks like. Hello. Oh, that is beautiful. How much is this? Are those like heavy? Oh, they're not even that heavy. I think that was broken. No, I pressed it to stop me. That's oh, look at this one. It's a smaller one. These are beautiful. It's three bucks. Not bad. You want it? It's three bucks. It's beautiful. I don't know. Like a big one and a small one. Ooh, look at this one. This one is. Oh my god, that's beautiful. How much is it? How much is it? 20. 20? Is it? Oh wow, this is like glass. Oh, there's so much glare, you can't see it too good. You like that one? I don't know about suede. have pumpkins. I would probably put this on my bookcase. Ooh. These things are huge. Which is this? It's 30 bucks and the shit is like made out of foam. Oh, but it looks so cool. It's made out of foam and it's 30 bucks. I got some ideas, and I think, I think I'm going to make a Target haul with you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I decided to do a Target haul. Got two bags here of stuff, so let's get right into it. So I went in there to get some ideas for um, Halloween makeup that I'm going to be doing for my other channel called Sexy Horror. I'm still working on that channel, trying to figure out how I want to present good quality videos for you guys to see. So 
I bought some random things and I bought some actual things that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I want to show you is this um, Target has these line of wigs that are actually very good quality. I actually have one of them, a uh, two-tone bloom color. And this one I got in a premium black wig. It's stylable, it's heat resistant, which that's what I look for in wigs that I can like curl and straighten. And um, it looks like this. And um, th they, this year, last year, they had them in um, plastic boxes. This year, they have them in um, one of these plastic bag things, which I keep the wigs in because it helps stay protected. Um, a lot of other things I got were um, inexpensive. I got these. So it's kind of like in the same um, brand. This whole thing is from the same brand. I take all of these out. So all of these are from Hide, Hide and Eek um, Boutique. It's called Hide and Eek Boutique. And they're inexpensive. I got these self-adhesive 3D bats. These were meant to be for um, pumpkins, but I got them for um, to put on my face because I want to like I like the hologram and bat looking thing. So I'll give me some ideas. These are self-adhesive spikes. This one is in black, and this other one is kind of like a rusty. Like a rusty brown. Let's see, you could see here. There's the black ones and there's, there's the looking ones. They're like, they're, you know, pinch type. And then I saw this, and I don't know what I want to do yet with it, but it was one that caused my attention. They had one in colors, but the black and white one was more for me. These are self adhesive um, paper flowers. Look like this. And then I got these um, fake fingers. Um, um, I am gonna create like a, a character that has long nails, and I didn't want to go in the process of actually doing my nails or putting press ons and trying to paint them. So I bought these, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray paint them um, the color that I want to for the look I'm gonna create. I don't know what color I want to put, whether it's black or green yet, but um, you can take any type of paint, spray paint them, or use acrylic paints, go over them, and just put them on your finger. Um, a few years back, I fell in love with like these um, ponchos that they wear back in the days, um, but there was like this sh like chic design on them and um, I was going to Holly Har and I, I think I have a picture if I find it I'll link it right I'll just show it here and as you see in that photo um, I used this um, this spook it's called spooky fabric you can use it indoor outdoor it was actually a um, home decor but I cut a hole in it and I put it, I threw it on like a tank top like this and it looked like a stylish poncho and I had lots of people compliment my <laughs> Halloween um, poncho thing and I wanted to do it again because I want to try to improve it like um, I didn't think it would rip so easily and it was like f coming off apart so I got a few colors I got this gray one and I got this uh, black one and um, I'll let you guys know when I'm gonna do a video for that one as well so you guys can see it's actually really cool you just you know line it up uh, make sure it's even on both sides cut a hole for your head and you just put it on it kind of goes like over the shoulder and it looks really nice but I'm trying to figure out how to keep it together so it doesn't fall apart because when I went to the haunted houses like people were holding on to me and it was ripping it was literally coming apart um what else did I get? Oh, so these are random things that I got
I got this shirt called Zoe and Liv and it's this long sleeve skeleton and it also has it on the on the side of the arms as well. It doesn't go in the dark or anything. But it's very um, sheer. So living in Florida is hot so stuff like this that are sheer like that it's like it helps with hot weather when you don't feel it and tape tops all the time. Another random buy I got is this um, it's a paper book decor and it looks like this stories in the dark it has like a wizard pumpkin looking thing in the back it looks like that and looks like this on the side and what's really cool is that it's a hollow put stuff in it and it goes great with my library so I'm gonna put stuff in it and put it in there and there's a couple other like things that I don't think it really matters but I'm gonna just show it to you guys anyway I got this um this is a luxury padded sleep mask um hey, excuse me you put on mask and share cushion rest on nose and under eyes adjust straps to fit comfortably do not over tighten um cleans with that cloth if needed it's like I'm all about relaxation and I try to find like you know my, my happy place if you will and it doesn't help it helps a lot especially for someone that has anxiety and depression so um, doing a lot of relaxations and a lot of like scents of candles and a lot of meditation helps and I wanted to step it further and I got the sleep mask but this one has um, cushion for the eyes. So, and I believe you could also, um, I think also put this in the in the fridge, get it cold, and put it on or warm however you feel. And then last but not least, I actually saw someone um, mention this that it helps. And my feet, <laughs> not related to Halloween. But my feet always hurts, and I just get a lot of like, back aches. So they said this is a pretty good brand to use. It is pure Epsom salt. It's a soaking solution. But this one is for re re um, relaxation and relief. And I think you're just only supposed to put like a scoop or two, and you put it in a bucket of water, and you soak your feet in there for like 20 minutes. You pour two cups and you soak for 20 minutes and um, you can also exfoliate this on your skin for you soothe from um, sores and bruises so it's something I've always wanted to try to see if it worked and it's this brand in here they do have um, one that's um, they do have one that's lavender it's supposed to help for people to sleep um, I use lavender a lot, like sprays on the pillow, and um, it helps me like rest a little easy because I don't sleep very well. And um, that's about it. That's all I got. And um, if you guys want to see any of my Halloween um, makeup tutorials, special effects, I do um, nail tutorials as well. I know I only have a few videos up, but I promise I'm working on getting some more up. I just got a bunch of um, new equipment that I'm testing out and working with. And I got some good lighting. As you can see, I have the ring lights here working. And um, I'm trying my best to get it up and running for you. For sure, it'll be up um, September. And I'll probably even have a few in October. I might even go a little bit later on in November. But um, my second channel, I'm usually... Um, I usually try to put post stuff in there but if you guys want to see like like full glam makeup tutorials on that channel please let me know because I'm not really sure if that's something you guys want to see since there's so many um, other youtubers that you know have all that 
so just let me know I've already have um, some basic makeup ideas that um, lots of close friends and family have asked me to do for them there's dozens of um, how to apply lashes but they've asked me to do one so I'll do my best and get that up for you guys as well um, and that's it that is my little um, I guess you want to call this vlogs slash um, Halloween haul so thank you for watching and seeing their little journey and um, yeah don't forget pink drinks which oh by the way this is um, the pink drink from Starbucks it has a uh, coconut milk and I think it's called Asiago or as as something I don't know how you pronounce it um, it's basically like berries we put strawberries in it it makes the um, coconut milk pink it is so good and so refreshing on a hot day and I think this is about my 100th drink by now and everyone that knows me knows I'm obsessed with this drink I don't do pink but I'm, I'll do the pink drink anytime and it's called pink drink this is size 30 that's how they say it. I say 30, but they it's, they say 30. This is basically the biggest cup. And it's just really good. I'm just like... Oh my god, this is so good. It goes on your throat. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And um, I'll see you in the next one.